When a tooth is extracted, a hollow space known as alveolus is left in the jawbone. After tooth extraction, the empty alveolus fills with blood. The blood clot slowly begins to turn into bone. But the previous contour of the bone is not retained. As the bone no longer holds a tooth in place, it gradually resorbs. In particular, the bony wall facing the cheek resorbs very quickly. This can cause problems. With bridge restorations, for example, a gap can form between the bridge and the underlying gums. This is because the gums are attached to the jawbone and recede as the bone resorbs. The gap formed looks unattractive and makes dental hygiene difficult. Food particles can accumulate in the gap, causing inflammation of the gums. Also, placing an implant becomes a tricky procedure with a resorbing jawbone. To ensure the implant is completely surrounded by bone, like a natural tooth root, an extensive bone augmentation procedure must be carried out first. Failure to build up the bone can lead to poor aesthetic results in the end. Therefore, it is worth the effort to ensure that the contour of the jawbone is retained when teeth are extracted. This can be achieved by using a proven bone substitute material, such as Geistlich BioOS. The alveolus is filled with Geistlich BioOS. It may also be necessary to use a proven protective membrane, such as Geistlich BioGuide. This is because the bony wall of the alveolus is often damaged even if the tooth is extracted carefully. Geistlich BioGuide protects the damaged area, promotes undisturbed bone regeneration, and supports wound healing. The natural structure of Geistlich BioOS serves as a scaffold for new bone formation. Geistlich BioOS is intermingled with new bone after four to six months and is then included in the natural remodeling process of the bone. The natural contour of the jawbone can be retained, and therefore the gums do not recede either. Used with bridge restorations, Geistlich BioOS can prevent the formation of an unattractive gap, which can lead to an inflammation of the gums. If implants are to be used, an extensive bone augmentation procedure is not required to ensure that the implant remains covered. With a bone-preserving treatment, the restoration remains surrounded by bone and gums. Thus, the inflammation risk is reduced and the outcome appears natural and healthy. A bone-preserving treatment simplifies later treatment steps and emphasizes your beautiful smile. <laughs>